Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Welcome back to Manga After Dark. You know what time it is, Pirate Hour, Friday morning, One Piece, chapter 1016. This is Otama. All right, so let's see what this chapter has, to, has in store. Last chapter ended out with Yamato facing down Kaido, so that's hype. I got the title belt ready if uh, title belt Yamato shows up. Um, but let's dive in. So we got the cover panel. We got Zoro and a cat. They're doing like ninjutsu. Cover request by Honey uh, Nemeko. Ninja Zoro and a shinobi cat dodging spears thrust into an attic. Luffy aiming for the roof. The decisive battle on Onigashima is heating up. The extremely popular volume 99 is currently on sale. Shout out to TCB scans. Alright, so Wano Flower, so let's dive in. Wano Flower Capital. The sounds echo through the night. Wow. Yeah, ha, ha. drink up, sing. So there's a bunch of uh, people from Wano are just celebrating because it's the fire festival. So there's like dancing, singing, hitting drums. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Isn't it beautiful, Otoko? Yep. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The fire festival is a celebration that honors the dead. We lit this bonfire in the hopes that it would be visible to the heavens. Uh, poor Otoko. I hope that daddy can see it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Why the sky this, uh, wh with the sky this clear, I'm certain he cancels uh, Tengenmaru and Otoko are just by the funeral pyre, just looking up. Then Tengamaro continues, he is probably watching over us in intently, determined to see what becomes of you and the future of this country. So scene transition back to Onigashima, let's go, the action. Castle interior, visitor's reception. They refuse to surrender. Despite the loss, so this is CP0. Despite the loss of Straw Hat Luffy, that's right so far, said one of the, um, Ma not Marys, yeah, Marys, or the fuck they're called. An additional 5,000 soldiers have been inca incapacitated. That means the forces on each side should stand 24,000 versus 3,000. That's lopsided. So yeah, the Grand Fleet or the Marines have to pull up. Um, however, the pleasurers and the waiters on the live floor have turned against Queen Song. Oh, that's right. How I fucking forget about that. When you account for those 4,000 men switching sides, the totals are 20,000 to 7,000, still one-sided. It is hard to believe uh, the disparity in manpower is actually shrinking. You have one of the uh, the mayors are looking on. What an unexpected turn of events. It seems like the state of this battle is constantly changing as more information comes to light, Ribbit said one of the Marys. Momonosuke has fallen, Momonosuke has fallen too. That's news to me. Oh, he literally fell. Yeah, he fell off of a cliff. Yeah, uh, but he's obviously not dead. Excellent. The samurai will finally lose the resolve. When they hear their little lord is dead, then uh, Baohan goes, uh, uh, yeah, let's go break their spirits. The same floor, Nami, Usopp, and Otama. Tsunami's so going, the, no, this is uh, Usopp. The climate tech I invented is talking. Does that make me even more of a genius? No, it's like it's trying to tell me it's me, the only the one they called used to call Zeus. Nami goes, why are you in my climb attack? Weren't you eaten back there? Well, so this is Zeus. Well, after my soul left my body, uh, after well, after my soul left my body, started to get real dizzy. That new kid Hera was about to absorb me when Nami extended her climb attack towards us. Then you see the flashback of her extending it going, consider these black balls a parting gift. It was like she swiped me from her right before I was eaten. So Nami just somehow absorbed. Zeus. So, so like, I guess, so either Zeus willingly went inside the climate attack or this is some weird byproduct of Big, Mom, Big Mom's power. Like if you kill a homie, it's her soul moves on to the next closest object. That might be what's going on. Uh, so now we got Zeus. Look at me now. I've been given a new lease on life. Nami goes, what? I didn't sign up for an annoying sentient weapon. And Zeus is shocked. That's right. You still haven't forgiven me. But I can't leave without uh, Mama's powers. So Bahong is moving around. Hey, we've reached the stage. 
so behind the, so Bahong was moving around behind them was like Usopp, Nami, and them running. It's time to start giving orders, Tama. Okay. Everyone on Onigashima, I have more news for you. The enemy's leader, Momo, uh, is in Bao Huang, Sama, behind you. It's the Straw Hat crew. Then, like, so, I think that's Nami jumping. Ah, Usopp, uh, Usopp Hachikun. Hmm, what? Oh, no. That was Ulti. So, Ulti just came from right behind them and fucking head-butted Usopp. Ah, Usopp! And Nami's looking on. It's all because of her, isn't it? Huff, huff. She keeps converting our allies to your side one by one. Even Big Mom. I'm impressed Ulti got up. Then Nami goes, Otama, how can she still be standing? Then Ulti's holding Otama. It's your fault. Pei Pei is hurt. Yeah! Nami goes, I already told you to keep your hands off. Wait a minute. Yo, I did not expect this application for Zeus. So as she swung Zeus, he turned into a giant mace and smacked Ulti upside her head. Keep your hands off of her as the mace Zeus climb attack smacks Ulti. And Nami goes, huh? Yeah, he's like a, he looks like a mini version of Kylo's club, basically. Then Zeus goes, Nami, you can use your attack like usual. I'm just here to help. Then Nami goes, this is unbelievable. Then Zeus goes, her skin is crazy hard, uh, but her insides must be messed up after what Mama did. And you got Ulti panting. She'll go down in one shot if we strike her with a thunderbolt. Then Nami goes, I can't use an attack that big. Otama will get hit too. Huh? And like something, I think Usopp fired something at Ulti's chest. Yeah, lethal green star. Sar uh, Sargasso. Wow, and like a bunch of like petal, bunch of like grass and petals and branches start sprouting out. Ulti goes, yeah. Usopp, I split them up. Now do it, Nami. Right. Weather egg. It's time for a thundercloud. And so we see Zeus is returning. Then Nami goes, Zeus? Then he goes, Zeus goes, not anymore. Give me a new name, Nami. Cotton. <laughs> I am Zeus, Nami's right-hand man. Brace yourself. Let's do this, Zeus, said Nami in the menacing-ass cloud. Thunderbolts. And Ulti was able to dodge it. Whoosh. Huh? No way. Then Ulti goes, it's over. And the Thunderbolts curving. No, it's a my no, it no, it's not. It's my job to make sure our attacks land. So Zeus was able to curve the lightning bolt and hit Ulti on the rebound. Ulti goes, yeah. So this is a good ass panel. Like Zeus, Cotton, excuse me, looks beastly as he's just zooming right past Ulti and you see her body's all electrified. Her eyes are wider down, she's smoking everywhere. Bahon goes, what? Thud as Ulti hits the ground. They beat Ulti Sama. This is just like what happened to Page One Sama. Now two of the Flying Six have been defeated, said Bao Hong, and the fiery goes, "What? This can't be. This is unheard of. They are backing us into a corner." Then one of the fighter goes, "Bao Hong Sama, everybody can uh can you can hear you?" Then we got Sasaki. Oh no, I didn't mean to broadcast that. Kya, what the hell? So you got who's who's listening on. Then we got fucking Black Rear listening wrong, listening uh, listening uh, uh, long. It's a monster. Wow. So it's one of Usopp's plants. Green Star Devil. Hey Tama, I don't really get it, but she seems to be a transmitter. Give your orders. Then Tama goes right. Then she speaks to Bao Hong. This is Otama, and it's like broadcasting to the entire arena. You see Queen fighting in the background. Y'all go, huh? That's her, our master, said the fox. So you see Speed. Uh, I think that's Gazelle Man. Um, that dude with the crab legs. Old Maid. Not, was it not Old Maid? Old Maid was the elephant. I don't know what the fuck this dude's name was. The scorpion dude. So we got Otama speaking. Then, then Sanji Otama-chan. Beppo, what's up? So she's about to give her orders, and we're back to the rooftop main event time. Straw Hat and Odin's Brett are already dead. 
if you're going to play, you should learn to protect your pieces. So Kaido's already in dragon form, facing off against his own child. A snot nosed kid like your like you throwing off your chains. You think you can just leave? Then Yamato goes, That's right. I'm going to sail the seas with Luffy after I drive you out of Wano, Kaido. Then Kaido's face, then Kaido's like go, goes into hybrid. So does he have to go into dragon form before he goes into hybrid form? So can so so can um, can zones like so when they do that form change? It's very interesting that Kaido's going went into full dragon form, then into hybrid form instead of just going straight into hybrid form. I have to look back to see how zones operate to see if that's normally how it goes. You have to go to the full animal before you go into the hybrid. But I'm not sure if I don't think we've never seen them have to do that before. Um, so you got Kaido in his hybrid form. Roar, roar, roar. It's not like I'll settle for anywhere else, Yamato. I've been staying here because Wano is special. So Kaido stanced up. You have no chance against me. Just accept your fate and become this country's shogun. And Yamato goes, no way, I already know I'm going to beat you. Luffy is the one Kazuki Odin was waiting for. I'm just going to hold you off until he gets back. Then Kaido goes, don't expect me to go easy on you, Yamato. Conqueror's Hockey Clash. And it's this, uh, the chapter ends with black lightning on the rooftop, a fierce clash. So Yamato's going to hold off uh, Kaido until Luffy gets up somehow. Solid chapter. It was a good chapter. Um, eight out of ten. I really the Nami and, uh, and Cotton part was pretty entertaining. Um, it's a big buff for Nami. That one that the climate attack attains shape into different types of weapons. That's also pretty cool. And two, her attacks won't miss because Zeus is now has because it's now a homing attack. So it's pretty cool that it takes away some of Nami's weaknesses in terms of like. Her ability to damage like tough opponents, and as well as like her ability to like fight fast opponents. So with Cotton on her side, she'll be able to speed. As long as Cotton is fast enough, she won't necessarily have to worry about the speed of her opponents. Uh, so it's pretty cool, pretty good chapter. Uh, so I'm guessing Otama is going to give the mass orders to like attack Queen or attack all of Kaido's henchmen. Um, or like they'll at least like somehow give Sanji space to fight Queen one on one without the rest of the people interfering. But they also have to take care of Peril Sparrow, so maybe it's gonna be Chopper versus Peril Sparrow, Marco versus King, or maybe Marco heals Zoro. Or no, Chopper's with Zoro, so Chopper could heal Zoro, and Zoro will get healthy because Chopper just put his magical bandages around him, and then we'll get Zoro versus King or Zoro versus Peril Sparrow. Something like that. But it looks like Chopper might get a 1v1 fight this arc. Because once he heals Zoro, Zoro's going to run off to do something else. And it's going to be up to Chopper to do shit. So right now we have King and Peril Sparrow there. But I guess Marco's there too. So I guess Marco could take one and Zoro will take the other. And Chopper will be support. Uh, but it'd be interesting since we know that Monster Point has a buff. Uh, maybe he buffed his other points as well with the help of Caesar. So I'll be curious to see if Chopper gets a, like a fleshed out fight and we can see what he can do but good chapter eight uh eight out of ten um fucking this homing attack from nami to ulti that's that's pretty cool um and also it's like uh page one and ulti losing this or like it was like how unimpressive they were in their fights it's into the realm of What's the point of introducing them territory? Um, if this is if if Ulti's legit down from this and Page One has not been seen since Big Mom smacked them, might as well not introduce them as characters. Or maybe they're gonna reappear at a later arc or something, become reoccurring characters. But waste of panel time if this is how they go. Um, so like. But yeah, but I still enjoy the chapter though, but I kind of hope we get an actual fight with Ulti in page one instead of what we saw because, come on now, Oda, they're supposed to be main antagonist type villains. They got knocked off like side characters, um, but I still enjoyed the chapter. All right, so let me know in the comments what were y'all's favorite part of the chapter. Uh, give it your rating as well. Again, I give it an eight out of 10. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, peace out, and also there's a break next week. Um, so, and also my school year is finally ending this week, so I'll be able to, like, 
read more manga and react to more manga and do other stuff as well. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, so make sure to like the video, share it. Peace out. Manga after dark out.